you know, I have really got to get this fixed up, and I think I know how to, but anyway, so, I apologize for my issues with, for the issues, for the intense buffering, but I think I know what the problem now, so, I don't know how to fix it, but anyways, that's all my review on the episode, um, it's pretty good, but, um, I wish they could, but I was wondering, I'm just hoping that, why explains how exactly that Genya managed to survive and stand, like, after a, a fatal blow directly to his heart and or his chest. I mean, seriously, how is he still alive? I'm still wondering that. I mean, just you know, I know I know what happens to Muzan. I know what happens at the end. I know everything, but I, I, I don't know most of it, okay? I don't know what's going to happen most of it, okay? I don't know what's going to happen to Oxa. I don't know what's going to happen to Joma. I don't know what's going to happen to Komushibo. I don't know how they're going to beat all of them. I don't know how to, oh, of Genya, of Muichiro's, Giyomei's. Mitsuri's backstories, old eyes as well, Shinago Salas, everything. I don't know all of that, okay? I know some, but I don't know what, what's gonna happen, okay? So we can establish that. I don't know all the story. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoy as much as I have. And uh, as for Nezuko and Tanjiro, I don't know what's gonna happen to them. I don't know why they look like pupils, but um, hopefully they can survive. I mean, they're the commoners, and if they can survive, they pretty much survived a battle against Upper Moon 6. So, hopefully that'll be okay, but um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy as much as I have, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Demon Slayer. Peace out, everyone.